Aquarius. Do, 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 do. Aquarius. Do, 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 do. How are you doing, Aquarius? I don't know why I always feel a bit mad when I do your readings. I'm using some mad cards as well. Even the back of them's mad. Look. And it kind of matches. Woohoo! These are my glittery, glittery cards, glittery tarot. Okay, what do we need to know for you? One's out already, that's your overall energy card, which is rather nice. Let's just take one more overall energy card and we are gonna read on whatever is coming up for you, whatever your channel messages are. We're gonna look at your love life, we're gonna look at life purpose, whichever way the pendulum swings. Okay, there will be an extended reading as there is every month and that will be an extended love reading. So whatever comes up for your love cards, we do an extended reading for that. As always, the first link in the description box. ka -ching! Look at that bad boy. You get the Wheel of Fortune as your overall energy card, which isn't half bad, okay? Wheel of Fortune, it's not a card that just says, you know, everything's going to be amazing and glitter and unicorns and all that stuff. It's more a card that says the wheel is turning, my friend. And some of you may need to know that more than others. So if you're stuck, if you've been not knowing how to get out of a certain situation or just feeling like a lot of us have for the last few weeks, as if you're kind of a passenger in your own life. That's what I'm getting. Rather than uh, driving the bus or sailing the ship or whatever it is you do with transport, you feel like you are a passenger, like you're passive almost, like you don't have control of the vehicle. Peppermint tea, peppermint and licorice actually. Mm, go grab yourself a drink if you haven't got one this is going to be good so wheel of fortune just says things will be different things move things change things happen so okay good then we have the three of cups which is actually a very aquariusy card these are really shiny aren't they um it's an aquariusy card because it's about connecting with other folks and that's what aquarius is all about you're about the social group you know, I always think of like when I go to the gym and I see my friends at the gym and we have a really good time and I can stay for a bite to eat and there's ones coming in and there's some going out and that is a very Aquarius atmosphere. Not where you've just got one person who's, who's kind of there all the time, more that there is an influx and that you are kind of constructing some kind of group, social group. Three of Cups makes it a little bit more focused so this can be you kind of reconnecting with people reconnecting with friends maybe you haven't seen for a while I don't know because I don't know what other cards we're going to get yet but it's a card of connection it's a card of drinks after work it's a card of connecting online it's a card as well in a relationship of taking it from the two which is very private into the three which is what I call the plus one card Okay, tell us more tarot, what do we need to know? Oh, very nice. Then we get the magician, which for me as a reader, and some other readers as well, I think, but definitely for me, is an Aquarius card. I've always associated the magician with Aquarius. So this is about, it's number one, it's you've gone from the zero of being the fool into the actualization, the ability to be able to make something happen. The magician always has this table and he's got the goodies on there of the tarot, he's got the sword, which is communication, he's got the cups, which is emotion, he's got the wand, which is kind of fire and attraction and magic, and he's got the pentacle, which is earth and money and the material things in the world. And of course, he's an alchemist, so he can turn one thing into another and make something happen. And BG Styley, he holds aloft his magic wand and gives it some of that. Maybe while he's reconnecting with the Three of Cups, he's like, yes, come on, spin that wheel. Woohoo! It's all very Aquarian. 
This means that you're in a position to change something, to wave your magic wand in lots of ways. And what is your magic wand? Well, <laughs> you may well ask. It's your ability to kind of, I suppose, manifest, but also there's something about you, Aquarius, that's not quite human. And I can, I can never put it into words, and I know so many Aquarians, and I too have Venus in Aquarius, which I like. Um, there's something about Aquarians that's extraterrestrial, and I don't mean that you look like aliens. I mean it's just outside of the norm. Some astrology people call it um, eccentric. That's not enough. It doesn't quite cover it. There is a spiritual element to it as well. Nice. Six of Wands. Winner, winner, chicken dinner or vegan alternative. Okay, this is looking rather good. Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups, Magician. You have the ability to change something. You have the ability to bring something. And you, then you get the Six of Wands, which is celebrating success in your endeavours. So for those of you that are looking at launching something, Whatever that may be, it can be something big, like you're launching a, a new book, a new project, a new fragrance, a new pair of shoes, it can be small, or a new you, or a new whatever that you've been asked to do at work, or whatever it is. This looks very good. Be as creative as you like, be as Aquarian as you like, be as weird as you like. Bring all of that in because it's only gonna make it sing. Okay, it's only going to make it sing. I love this. That one, actually. Nice. In comes the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is information you've been waiting for. And maybe you've been waiting for this information before you could actually become the magician and make a move. Some piece of information. Let me just do that with the curtain so the sun goes away. Um, some pieces of information have been either withheld or just not apparent. So it may be that you were waiting for some news before you could do something at work, before you could leave or before you could create something. The Knight of Swords as well is, you know, he cuts quite a dash. So the Knight of Swords is coming in and like almost like, listen to me, I've got this to say. It's something that won't be unsaid. Let's just have another card for that. Yeah, nine of wands, okay, about protecting yourself, about boundaries. It looks like there will be a conversation and that conversation will be quite immediate when it comes, but also it's something you've known about. It's about something, if we look at the cards here, God only knows. Oh, that's good. Sometimes I do that and I've got a pair of old pants lying on the floor or something. Um, if we look at the cards here, Aquarius, you can see how the Wheel of Fortune turns. You're connecting with groups or important people who can help you, I think. We've got the Magician where you are gaining power for yourself, which we really like. There's a successful outcome. There is the imparting of some kind of knowledge or wisdom and then there's also this nine of wands where somebody, you're kind of required to structure something, to make something happen. Of course, this could relate to your love life. We're going to look at your love life in a sec. But either way, I like that there's news coming in to help you. This comes from somebody else. Yeah, death card and then the change. When you get the death card, that is not just a bit of change. I mean, you could switch up what you're doing for a living. You could change, you could leave. It's got that kind of feeling about it, but you have the magic to be able to make something happen. Okay, you've got the sort of secret source here with the magician. And I like that. It's very, it's very Aquarius. Aquarius is a sign of the inventor and you get to make something happen rather than be a passenger. 
big changes. Let's have a look at your love life as well and connect that. What do we need to know for the love life of lovely Aquarius? Who everybody wants to get off with, let's face it. Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles, keeping yourself to yourself. Judgment. Oh, hell, this has come up for you so much. I'm going to take two more, actually, before I, before I say anything. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you. <laughs> Hanged man, yeah. Okay. Some cards in tarot, particularly major arcana, are yin and some of them are yang. And judgment, that's my hand queen, by the way, which is now my pointing stick. Judgment and the hanged man are both yin cards. Judgment has been knocking around your energy. And it's, oof, it can be about exes. It can be about past loves. If we're doing a love reading for you here, which we are, and you get the judgment card, you always, I mean, it's always something to do with the past. It can be that there are things you are resolving still from the past. It can be how you are healing a breakup. It can be you are kind of involved with somebody still. Unfinished business, I think, is what we call it. And it depends on what other cards come out with it. The Four of Pentacles is somebody keeping something under their hat. Now, I think that might be you, actually. And that's, it's a good place to be, the Four of Pentacles. Some people call it the miser card, but I think it's really sensible. You know, you're not blabbing your plans to anybody. You're not giving away your energy. You are conserving your energy and you're having a look and you're watching what is going on. And then we have judgment. Judgment is my back to the future card. It's something where you're sort of, you're dealing with something of yesteryear. It's like, and then the Knight of Wands, which is the complete opposite energy. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But the Knight of Wands kind of steams into the present. I think for some of you, there is somebody you're connected with or will soon meet. You may already be connected with this person who is quite charming and attractive and comfortable in their own skin which most Aquarians are looking for that because underneath it all most Aquarians are quite confident and it just feels like it feels as if something is exciting and tempting but also when you're alone at night or when you're in your quieter moments Judgment is saying to you, what's this about? What happened last time? What's this? You know, there's some sort of inquiry there. Oh, I do like that. We've got the hanged man here. Hanged man energy is very Neptunian. And this Neptunian hanged man energy is all about when nothing is happening, everything is happening. The Empress, again, is very, very powerful. You know, one sort of flick of her staff and she can make the wheat grow, she can make the animals reproduce, she's all about fertility. Which is exciting stuff. But there's something here about divine feminine energy and leaning back, which is normally Aquarians are quite sort of masculine energy, regardless of your gender, in dealing with things. You're quite upfront, you make things happen, you talk, you say stuff, you make decisions. But there's something here. You may be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because Judgment and the Hanged Man are both about Neptune. There's a situation here that is tantalizing and interesting 
intriguing i think is the word we've got the nine of pentacles independence i mean aquarians are all independent no matter what there's something about you being like a citizen of the world that just makes you confident and independent got the seven of cups okay seven of cups is when you're in this Neptunian, it's like a hall of mirrors energy here. You can't quite see something about someone or about a connection with somebody. You can't quite make it out. It's almost like, and I'm getting channeled to me, what is now kind of quite old fashioned camera, like a Nikon camera. And you're, you've got that, you know, when you hold on to the sort of, I don't even know what camera things are called because mine are all electronic now, but you hold on to the lens and you twist it and the image becomes more into focus. And if you do it the other way, it gets blurry. And what's happening here about a relationship is you're sort of sharpening your focus because I feel like there might have been things that you missed before or have just, they've just never sharpened into view. It's quite mysterious, which for most Aquarians is very tantalizing. Aquarians love mystery. It's also got a touch of what I call the shiny about it, that it's tempting and shiny and glinting. And maybe that's why I want, really wanted to do this glittery tarot for you. We get the Ace of Pentacles, which is a great card to get, even though it's looking like Salvador Dali's melting clocks, which is all a bit psychedelic. The Ace of Pentacles is working out how something can begin from this or how something can be made more actual, more solid. For some of you, this person may be a bit far away or hard to reach. We've got the 10 of wands. So there's some kind of baggage. This may be somebody who is getting out of a relationship or somebody who has a lot of baggage, but you don't really know what it is. It's quite mysterious. And the strength card, again, fire signs, particularly Leo with the strength card. I'm a bit intrigued, actually. I want to use another deck for a second. Yeah. Tell me a bit about this person, please. This kind of... I'm getting blast from the past, so for some of you this is... I feel like you're a bit guarded about this. We've got that Nine of Wands here, and we've got that Four of Pentacles. And there's, and we got the Ten of Wands, and I feel like that might be your baggage too. And we all have this baggage that really tells us where we might want to go next. Okay, so the Two of Pentacles. Oh, hello, we've got some cards that have dropped on the floor. Here we go. This will tell us. And it does. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. Lightseer's Tarot saves the day. That's very clear to me, these four cards. We've got the Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. Somebody who is wheeling between now and then. It's like now and then, looking forward, looking back, looking forward, looking back. And we have the Six of Cups. Now, when I get judgment as a card, it's always the back to the future kind of element. It's always got this sort of replay, redo, um, second chances, all of that kind of stuff. But what really, really seals it for me as a tarot reader is if I get the Six of Cups with it in the reading. Makes a big difference because it takes it from, hmm, I'm getting some weird energy about something happening from the past, to real pinning it down. We've got the Six of Cups, which is the Childhood Sweetheart card. 
it's a card of exes, people we still love, people we are sweet on, people we even have like past life energy with. It just really makes it go in that direction. So I feel here, Aquarius, that there is some nod to the past. There is some interest in either an old flame or I'm getting the song, Someone I Used to Know. Um, I don't know who sang that one. It feels very, very evocative. It feels like someone misses you and you might miss them it feels quite mutual actually it does not feel one-sided to me then we get the emperor and we've already got the empress okay and you're representing the empress you're in your yin energy hanged man empress all of this by the way if you get judgment hanged man empress it's telling you that this energy is sort of in an almost dreamlike state at the moment. You may get things in your dreams, you may get signs, you may get something, you know, weird signs and symbols or whatever, but it has this drifty quality where you can't quite pin it down yet, which is very interesting. And then we have well, we've got the emperor, which means that someone else is going to be initiating more. Okay, somebody's coming up as the emperor, divine masculine energy, the emperor. I'm getting the great love, the love of my life, soulmate, the whole shebang. Okay, God, this is a bit strange. It's, it's got a funny energy to it. Please leave me a comment in the comment section because it's like, Happening now, but got a feeling of the past and the past and the present all in one. Almost like the feeling you get when Mercury is retrograde, but it isn't. I know. And then we get the tower. I love this tower. It's just one of the most organic and gorgeous towers. There's a breakthrough here. And I'm getting Tom Hanks in big going and putting some money in that fortune telling machine and then lightning strikes and he goes back to being young again. This could be as simple, it's not as simple though. I was gonna say this could be as simple as you just bumping into someone you used to know, but it's not that simple. There are strings and fronds and just, oh, links to this person which you become aware of that you were not aware of before. Mm. I'm, right, in the extended reading, I'm gonna look at the Six of Cups. So oh, yes, I am, Judgment, the Emperor. I'm gonna look at this energy. I'm gonna rattle a few cages about this energy because it's really important, really important. We get hideaway. I mean, it says it's like a romantic hideaway, but it can also be like literally someone's hidden. Gifts, which is always nice. Love's greatest gift is the ability to understand each other. And sacrifice, love may come with sacrifices. Evaluate what you're willing to give up. Hmm, there's a story here, Aquarius. I'm going to look at some shadow cards. We're going to look at the four cards that came up there. How to win the Six of Wands. Why this is stuck in hanged man energy. But at the same time is moving forward in a kind of kaleidoscopic energy. Oh, Aquarius, you never keep it simple and I love you for it. Okay, I'm going to go do the extended. It's the first link in the description box. Leave me a comment. And I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.